Sagittarius, welcome to November 2013. <clears throat> now, November starts off with quite a kick because we have the Pluto-Uranus exact perfect square on November 1st. This is the fourth perfect square in a series of seven that have been taking place. We'll have two in 2014 and then the final one will be March 17th, 2015. For you, this is going on in the area of your true values, your core values, your self-worth, your self-appreciation, your money, your talents, gifts, and abilities. And Uranus is in the area of creative self-expression, self-confidence, children, love affairs, speculation, sports, the love you give to others. So you're in a time where you're really being asked to look at where you're putting your money, where you're putting your investments, where you uh, are channeling your talents, gifts, and abilities, and what changes can be made so that you are creating greater freedom for yourself, uh, greater self-expression, and um, creating the life you truly desire. So this is a time for you where you know, you may want to be resting a lot because right before our birthday, we're in what we call a six week cycle. And I go into it in detail on my uh, Kelly Rosano website on my solar return charts in the astrology section. The link is below. And six weeks before our, our birthday, we get all of the lessons of the entire solar year. So from your birthday of 2012 till now, you're in your six-week cycle where you're getting all of the lessons of the entire year in the six-week cycle. The energy cycles down. And then on our birthday, which is our birth of our new solar year, we get the new energy. So if you're feeling tired or you're dragging around, don't push yourself, okay? Go easy on yourself because the energy's just not there. It will come in when the sun moves into Sagittarius on November 21st and then when you have your birthday. But also whenever anything moves into um, Sagittarius or Virgo or Pisces or Gemini, the first thing they run into is Neptune. So you have to give it a few days before you're really going to feel your power back, your energy back because Neptune uh, takes the power of the sun. The sun is the life giver. The sun is the heart and the soul of astrology. It's what drives the entire chart. And when Neptune is squaring the sun, as it is in the early degrees of Sag, we don't have as much energy. So it's a really important time that you are practicing extreme self-care and taking really good care of yourself. And that's what November is showing me here because you have the Scorpio solar eclipse on November 3rd happening in the air of your life that has to do with... Um, retreating from the world. Scorpio is 12 signs from you. Scorpio rules your 12th house. And the 12th house has to do with retreats, ashrams, hospitals. It's where we go to rest, recharge, and get healing. So you're in a cycle now where the energy is not out in the open, it's behind the scenes. So this is your time to work on unfinished business and really build your strength up, build your energy up, rest, recharge your batteries, meditate, walk in nature, walk along the ocean, write in your journal, do things that are nourishing and nurturing for you and healing. You'll wanna be behind the scenes in this energy. You won't wanna be out much in the public because the energy's just not there. Now, I do like the Scorpio solar eclipse. Um, it has a lot of positive energy. Your ruling planet, Jupiter, is in harmony with it. Mars is in Virgo in harmony with it. Neptune in Pisces is in harmony with it. Saturn is merging with it. Now, Saturn is in this area for you. It's Saturn is in Scorpio, 12 signs from you. Until it gets into your sign, you're in a 28-year cycle of finishing up projects and completions. It's not the time to start anything new. And Mercury is retrograde until November 10th. Once Mercury goes direct, it is a time where you can move forward with things. But what the universe is saying for Sagittarius here is take your time, work behind the scenes, love yourself, rest, recharge your batteries, work on your health, 
work on your spirituality, finish unfinished business, and you know, wait till the energy start moving forward in Sagittarius. So it's not a time for you to strike out now, you know, in a new direction. It's not time for you to start a new business, start a new job. It really isn't. It's a really a time to like pull back and rest and recharge your batteries. Take your time, energize yourself by resting, meditating, doing spiritual work, doing spiritual retreat, doing fun things for yourself. And see, Saturn is there, and Saturn can restricts our energy so that we can only focus on what we need to get done. So Saturn is saying, respect your limitations. And right now, you don't have a lot of energy to work with. So respect that. Do what you got to do and let everything else go. It'll all be there waiting for you once the sun <laughs> soars into Sagittarius, and then the moon and Mercury, and so on. Use your power to eliminate distractions and anything that's unnecessary. See, one of the things challenges with Sagittarians for some of you is boundaries. You're always available to people. You're always available for this and available for that. And people run over your boundaries. Well, Saturn is saying, set your boundaries, respect your limitations, focus your energy, concentrate your energy on what you can done, get done, and let everything else go. Don't be available. Don't be so available to people. Don't let people run over your boundaries. Set your boundaries. That's why you have voicemail. That's why you have email that you can get to when you get to. Because this is your time to energize yourself and work behind the scenes. It's not about being out in the public. That'll come at the end of the month and in December. Okay, so Venus enters Capricorn on November 5th and she'll be in Capricorn through March 5th, 2014. And this can be good for increasing your, your money and your resources. Now, not when she's retrograde, because when she's retrograde, it's about going over things and going over the past. But what you can use that for, and I'll talk about that in December, is going over your core values, going over what you love and value, going over how you're using your resources and what is your return on investment? Because that's what Saturn wants to know. Saturn restricts your energy so that you can only focus on what needs to be done, so you don't waste your energy. Saturn encourages a serious look at where you are investing your time, your energy, your heart, your money, and what is that return on your investment. Saturn wants to see you at least get an equal return, but what Saturn would like to see you is get a greater return. So do what supports your balance. Does this decision support your balance? Does this choice support your balance? You know, whatever you're doing, does it support your balance? And Venus is going to be in the area of your money um, for five months. So that can improve your money. That can improve your resources. Now your ruling planet goes retrograde November 7th through March 6th, 2014 in Cancer. And this is your partner's resources, your partner's values, other people's resources, other people's values, uh, debt, uh, money owed to you through taxes, insurance, royalty payout, trust issues, boundaries. So this is an important time for you to set boundaries around your money, around your resources, around what you're doing. Once Jupiter gets into Leo, you're going to be feeling so much stronger. And then at the end of 2014, Saturn goes into Sagittarius. The spotlight's going to be on Saggies, big time. So right now, you're like waiting in the wings, okay? You're behind the, the curtain hasn't lifted. You're behind the stage. The curtain is down. You're, you're supposed to be researching and writing and working on things behind the scenes. And when that curtain lifts, then it's showtime, okay? Um, and that will come when we move more into Sagittarius, but especially when your ruling planet rules into your sister sign, uh, Leo, in 2014, you are really going to, um, this work you're doing now is going to pay off big time for you, big time. Okay, now Mercury is direct on November 10th. And so I like to give Mercury a couple of days before I sign on the dotted line or make a major purchase. So like November 12th on is the time to make a major purchase or do what you have to do um, because the energy will be more direct. And then Neptune turns direct on November 13th 
and that's in Pisces, and that can be a healing in the family, a healing in the home, a healing within yourself. Chiron inspires healing, and um, now Venus is going to cross over Pluto and Uranus uh, the 14th, 15th, and 16th. So if there's any kind of conflict brewing with your children or a love interest or about money, focus on the issues, not on you did this or you didn't do this, right? Let's rise above the karma. Let's be the eagle, the Scorpio eagle, and rise above it and focus on the issues and not point fingers at each other. Then you have the Taurus full moon on November 17th, and this is happening in the area of your lifestyle, your health, your health habits, your diet, your psychological diet, how you feed yourself emotionally, spiritually, physically, your work habits. So the full moon is saying, you know, like the Scorpio energy, work on your, your balance. You know, ask yourself, is, is this routine encouraging my balance or is it draining me? Okay, eliminate what exhausts you. Eliminate what drains you. Do what empowers you. Do what charges your batteries. Do what improves your health and well-being and vitality. Maybe it's time to look at your diet. Maybe it's time to look at uh, exercise. Are you exercising enough? What are you doing to take care of yourself? What changes can you make in your daily routine to improve your uh, health, well-being, vitality, and your lifestyle? This area also rules the unconscious mind. And so, you know, Whenever we're not dealing with an issue, it can come out as a health issue because energy cannot be destroyed, only transformed. This is Einstein. So what areas in your life are you frustrated by right now? You want to address those areas so that it doesn't come out in your health. And you want to focus on what you can do. Now, Pluto and Uranus are breaking down things that aren't working. If something's breaking down for you, that means you need to change it. And it's far more empowering when you're the change agent rather than Pluto and Uranus having to do it. So you be the lead. Take the lead in your life and be that change agent. Yeah, change is hard. Growth is painful. But it is important that you do it rather than Pluto and Uranus coming in and blowing everything up. And then the sun sails into fun-loving, exuberant Sagittarius on November 21st. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. Woohoo! And... Um, What's really cool is, and I did talk about, you know, the sun's going to square Neptune on the 24th. So that's where, you know, you want to be taking your time on being idealistic and getting excited about something. Wait until about Thanksgiving here in America, which is like, you know, the 28th, um, before you, you know, sign on the dotted line or commit yourself to something because that's when clarity and increased energy will return to you once that sun passes over Neptune. Um, but now you're coming into your time, and especially into December. And what's really cool is your ruling planet, Jupiter, is starting to form a trine with Saturn at the end of November and will be with Saturn all through December. And this is a really awesome energy because Jupiter is expansion and opportunity and abundance and Saturn is the master builder. When you put those two together in harmony, you can build something um, of lasting value. And for you, it could be like this hidden resource you didn't know about, a hidden treasure that was buried that you've discovered by doing all this internal work during the cycle of Scorpio. Uh, possibly a way to eliminate debt, to restructure your finances so that you have more money coming in than going out. Help through a partner. Help through other people. It's a very harmonious energy. So use the first part of November to work on yourself, recharge your batteries, and then when the sun moves into Sagittarius, that's when you can really start to move ahead and move forward with your plans and, you know, get ready for December uh, when you have your new moon and the start of your solar year. And so right now, just take care of yourself. Be kind with yourself. Don't push yourself. You know, be patient. You know, this is your time to work behind the scenes. The more work you do here, the more power you will have when the spotlight focuses on you at the end of November into December. 
So thank you for listening, Sagittarius. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my podcast. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like to have a personal session with me where we look at your year ahead, we look at your solar return chart, it's very easy. You go to my astrology page, you purchase your session. Once I see you've made that commitment, I will send you my schedule. You get on my schedule. Or if you're interested in coaching where we focus on a specific issue or, or concern, you go to my coaching page, you purchase your session. And then once I see you've made that commitment, I send you my schedule. And then we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until December, Sagittarius, take a really good care of you. And happy birthday for those November Saggies. Love and light. Well, open up your mind and see like me. Open up your plans and damn you're free. Look into your heart and you'll find love, 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 love. Listen to the music, people dance and sing. We're just one big family. And it's your godforsaken right to be loved, 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 loved. So I won't hesitate no more, no more. Our time is short. I'm yours. Jason Morass. <laughs>